Hello users, and welcome to Sunday Run Day, the 134th. And, uh, that's a lot. So, to start things off, we're going to be playing Edge, and a little lore on this game. This game is actually the very first game I completed a speedrun of back in March of 2013. That is quite a while ago. So let's just get the shit on the road. Um, yeah. Alright, let's go. This is it. It's happening. Alright, so this game has got lots of fun stuff in it. It's got no RNG, so that's number one selling point, is no RNG. Um, it's cycle based in a lot of instances, so there's lots of levels where like ma like major time loss outside of deaths is very le like very unlikely to happen. Um, this is all assuming that you know what you're doing, and it's been a while since I knew what I was doing. But needless to say, my commentary is not aged a bit, um, though my gameplay has. There's a lot of really small, like, micro-optimizations in this game, where, like, you can, like, save frames at a time, and, like, it's really cool. It's just a good speed game. I highly recommend this to pick up. For anyone who's looking to speedrun something, I would definitely recommend this game. It's very good. It's got really good music as well. It's also a really good length, coming in at about, you know, 40 minutes, I would say, um, for a good, comfy estimate. Uh, if you were to properly learn things. And that's the thing with this game, is, it, like I said, it's got no RNG to it. It is very difficult, don't get me wrong, but it is very, very consistent. So as long as you don't, like, you know, if you're really up to snuff and you know your shit, this game is very fun to speedrun because it's just purely um, an endurance round of just, like, getting to the end really as fast as possible and for almost every other game if not every other game I play has an exorbitant amount of RNG so I mean it really is a really nice experience it's also just super relaxed like there's not much going on it's not super complex this game at least on the surface so that makes it just really relaxing and fun to play and uh, hopefully you're enjoying the commentary so far because that's that's all about that's about all I got. Got about two minutes worth of uh, commentary for this 40 minute game. That's almost called speed run. It's pretty cool. Back when I first started playing this game, um, I was the only runner, and uh, since then other people have played the game and uh, they've got better times than me. I eventually want to go back and get the record back in this game. It's been a few years since I did that. I used to back in the day, like every time someone beat my record in this game. Usually it was glitchiness, if I recall correctly. But every time my record would get beaten, I would try to go back for it instantly. But then the last time I had such an awful experience because I just didn't practice enough, but like knew I was good enough, you know, like so that interground where it's like, I know all the, the strategies, I know what to do, I'm just going to do it. And I didn't really, you know, practice much and really just, you know, it was a frustrating experience getting the record the last time I did. So I just have kind of backed off since I think 2015 was the last time I played this game very competitively. But uh, one of these days, one of these days, I'll get back at it. Um, but yeah, it's a very fun game. I like it. Uh, it's it's very chill. Like watching it, having watched uh like other people play it. Um, it's just it's a fun watch in my opinion. Maybe you have a different opinion, but uh, that's not important right now. I feel like this is a game that like if I were well practiced. And like, I just drank a lot of coffee, I'd be able to like, get the record relatively quickly. But, maybe, we'll see. Yeah, it was a little slow. I forgot that, uh... I have to be really quick about that in order to get the, the skip. You gotta basically not waste a single bit of time there. But uh, yeah, hopefully the game looks okay. This game has got some capture problems, and uh, I don't really know how to fix it. Um, but I think it looks okay right now. I'm pretty sure 
I've got it looking as okay as I can for the time being. If you're pr rel if you do this like perfectly, you can make that cycle I just missed. There's a lot of like cycles like that where you just have to play perfectly to just barely get it. And that kind of makes speedrunning it a little annoying cuz like I said, it's cycle based for a lot of these levels. So a lot of the levels are like, you know, catching the cycle is the end all be all. So like, if you do miss it, you lose like 5-6 seconds and it's just like, ugh. And in this game, 5 or 6 seconds is a lot of time. But then again, there are a few levels later where you can just save that time by just not dying. I don't remember how optimized the record is, to be honest. I know it's really good, but I'm pretty sure it's got room for improvement. At least, I hope it has room for improvement. I'm actually feeling pretty good about this. I might actually do that. Maybe when I can stream again, I'll do some record attempts for this game. Maybe. I'm feeling good about it. Or maybe I can do like a whole big practice sesh and then do like a double dip on it. That also might be a fun thing to do. I don't know. If you have any ideas, suggestions, feel free to comment below in the comment section. That is what that section is for. It's a whole section of the website crafted for that specific purpose of giving me your feedback. And uh, yeah, you should utilize that section. Now you cunt. One thing I like about this game is there's lots of like alternate routes that are built in, like built in skips, you know what I mean? Like shortcuts and other stuff that are just hidden. And it's just like another aspect that makes the speedrun super cool. Cause like, especially for someone who had maybe played the game one time, there's like lots of fun stuff to like find out that's like not a trick necessarily in the sense that like it's unintended, but it's just a lot of intentional things that look like tricks, which, you know, you can make your case for when it comes to that kind of stuff. Personally, I do like built in tricks and skips, you know, I think that's cool stuff. It makes the run look very interesting. That's for damn sure. Hopefully the audio is good. I don't really do much audio balancing and just kind of go what what I think feels okay because I've been doing the streaming and video production shit for like fucking six, seven years now almost. So I just kind of go with a gut check, you know, it might be okay. You know, maybe I could finally tune it a little bit more, but I mean, I'm not going to sit here and spend fucking, you know, so long editing a video that only like 12 people are going to watch in its entirety, like lifetime wise. Like, no one's gonna watch this shit in like six years from now, so like, I shouldn't even bother. That's a bad mentality, but it's my mentality. I often have a bad mentality when it comes to putting work into my things, putting effort into my work. I'm a big fan of just like trash content, you know, you just produce something that someone's gonna watch once and then they'll never watch ever again. That's kind of my thing, that's the whole point of my channel, which is why. No one likes me, I guess. I don't put effort into anything I do. Literally. I put effort into the gameplay. Sometimes. But the last time I put effort into this game was like five fucking years ago. I'm washed up. And not in the good way where like I smell like, you know, scented lotions. But I'm washed up in the bad way. Or I smell like shit. Hopefully that juvenile humor is enough to occupy your... Senses. Because I'm all out of commentary. Eight minutes in, eight and a half minutes. I got nothing left. I'm out. I'm out here. So like at this point, this is all just me and my brain just functioning from this point on. I mean, that's, I guess, technically implicative of the, you know, idea that maybe I rehearsed what I said earlier, but I did not. But, uh, you know, that, that train of thought, so to speak, is now no longer at the station. The train of thought has left the station, so keep that in mind. The rest, I'm gonna need a new train, I think, is what we're getting at here. I think I'm gonna need a new train. Oh, I know, I'll talk about the game a little bit. So there's two main techniques in this game that are really worth mentioning, and one is if you turn sound effects off, it saves a fuckload of time. So I'll show you, um, well, I guess I won't show you, I, I've already showed you, but every time you go to a new level, the name of the level pops up in text and Basically, if you have sound effects on, there's an announcer that says the name of the level, 
And then when the announcer is done saying the name of the level, that's when the level starts. But if you turn sound effects off, the level will start as soon as it's done loading. And that saves quite a lot of time over the course of the run. There's about 40 levels. So it'll save like about, like, I don't know, a second and a half times how many levels there are. And then also, if you go through the menu by mashing right on the arrow keys instead of enter, for whatever reason, it's faster. So I use the right arrow instead of enter. Those are two Ugh. little trick there. Failed it the first time, but got the second time. There's lots of little stuff in this game like that. Another thing is, instead of letting your deaths play out, pause and go to retry from checkpoint. Because if you're gonna die, you might as well save time when you do it. And instead of losing like three seconds, you'll lose like two and a half. It's worth it. Because you do die quite a bit in this game, especially if you run it a lot. So it's just good to have that reflex, like to know, oh shit, I'm gonna fucking die, and to like pause and reset as soon as you can. Always good practice. As well as Praxis. If you're fast enough, you can make this cycle. It appears I am fast enough. If you're good enough, you can make that. It appears I am not good enough. It appears I am not good enough. But now I am currently good enough. The splits are actually not bad, I must say. I don't know why I started that sentence like a fucking cartoon character, but... <laughs> The splits are actually not too bad. Only 25, 28 seconds I'm probably going to be down after this. Like, that's not too terrible, actually. I was expecting a lot worse. Maybe, like I said before, like, I have drank a lot of coffee today. And, like, specifically not today, but, like, literally right before starting this. I've, I've had a lot of coffee today, and it's super strong coffee as well. So, like, I feel like the stimulant of the caffeine is making my like fingers a lot more nimble than they would be otherwise especially because of the temperature because i can definitely feel that i've got what used to be cold fingers but they've got their cold fingers that have been gaming for approximately an hour so they're relatively warm but i can definitely feel them being cold as well y'all know what i mean by cold fingers if you're a gamer and you live in an area where it gets cold you know what i mean by cold fingers sometimes you just can't play games when it's cold it's just like it's impossible so, like, I would say about an hour and a half ago, I was afflicted, if you will, with cold fingers. But I think the cold fingers affliction is currently because I've been gaming so heavily and so quickly and fast-paced, as well as the combination of the caffeine and the coffee. It's just making my fingers, even though they're cold, they're just going so fast that they're warming up enough to be able to be functional enough. You know? I don't know what I'm talking about, but the fact that I spent, like, a minute of my life talking about cold fingers, I think, is pretty impressive. So, I'm going to leave it at that. And also, just point out that there's a mini-map at the top left. If you haven't noticed it by now, you need it there. Otherwise, you die because there's holes in the floor. So that's one of the only areas in the game where the mini-map is actually super useful. Switch Keep and Metro are the two... Well, and Earthquake are the three levels where you don't spawn in the air. Little fun fact. You spawn in the air for every every other level except for those three. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> that was not what I should have done. I'm pretty sure this is the slower method. What I'm doing right now, I'm pretty sure that's the slower method. Um, there's a fast method and a slow method and I don't, I didn't remember which one was which. That combined with the death, this is not going to be a nice looking split. But that also doesn't matter, because it's not like I'm doing some sort of super competitive game here. Though it would be fun to get under 40 minutes. I don't know when the last time I finished this game under 40 minutes was. TBQH? That means to be quite honest, if for those of you that are not in the scene. I accidentally split there. That pink was fake news. This is one of those levels that's very short, it's got a lot of, like, things going on, like, on a microscopic level, gameplay-wise. You can, yeah, you can make that, if you, if you time that perfectly, you can make that without falling. Yeah. I just went for the cringe stop in the middle. But there's, like, one, there's one pattern if you go off the side there. You save a little time from not falling all the way down into that hole in the roof there. What I was saying with the previous area is, uh, there's a way to go across that moving bridge so that you don't have to stop in the middle. But, obviously, I was not hitting that, and it's, like, one of those things that, like, you save, like, a fucking 
like a twentieth of a second if you do it, so it's like going for it in that sense is purely just for my ego to like show off that I went for it and that I got it, but in this sense it was just a hit to my ego showing that I went for it and failed. Oh, speaking of going for it and failing, holy fucking cockfucker. Holy cock fucking motherfucker. If you're not completely stationary, like when like things are moving like that, you will literally just start floating. It's an interesting game mechanic and you can actually abuse it to skip an entire level, a really long level, mind you, later in the game. It's level 37, Jungle Fever. Forgot to get that. Which, we'll see how that goes. It's a very difficult skip. One that, to my knowledge, I, I discovered, I think. I'm pretty sure. It could have maybe been discovered independently. But I mean, I was I did discover it after other people had picked up the game. And they didn't use it. And then, I was relearning the game, I think, at some point in 2014. And then I was like, oh, that's a thing you can do. And I checked a bunch of spaces for it, and that was the only one I could figure out. But yeah, hopefully you appreciate this gamer commentary. I'm having a really good time, actually. This game's really fun. Like I said before, I highly recommend anyone... Like, you can get this game for, like, free. Like, on, like, summer sales and shit. It's, like, literally, like, a fucking 90-cent game. So I would highly recommend... Um picking this game up. At the end of the, the previous level, there is actually a skip that's slower. Like, there's like one of those things where like there's like a shortcut, but it it's actually takes longer. If you don't go on that last, like, base, uh, that moving platform at the end, you can, like, use the tiny cube ability of going up the wall to skip going back into big cube mode. That's one thing I do like about this game is even though it's clearly a puzzle platformer, the levels are designed in such a way that they always seem to be like... Not always, obviously. There's, of course, air this is a skip here. You can just go over there and skip having to go around there. Um, uh, this level. One of the things with this game that makes it difficult for commentary is that the game is so fast and there's always so much shit happening that it's hard to properly explain stuff that, stuff that occurs like in real time. But what happened right there was basically when you land on that little falling platform and restart, you are on the other side of the platform, but the platform respawns, allowing you to skip a sequence of waiting um, for things to move around. You're supposed to go in a circle there, but if you do that, then you don't have to go in a circle and you can go directly to the end and just get up there immediately. It's a little, little cool trick that is worth doing. I did that nicely. Uh. Okay, that went pretty well. Uh. I did not. Uh. <laughs> this is not going according to plan. Hopefully you appreciate the mood. Personally, I think the mood of the music in this game is very, very good. Fucking asshole. Alright. Only a minute 39 behind. It's not too bad. Again, I haven't played this game in probably... A solid five or six months, I want to say. So right here, you want to wait till about there, and then miss it because you're an idiot, and then go back, and then wait until about there, and then miss it again because you're literally the worst person on the planet. Then you want to wait until about there. And then get it that time, because Jesus fucking Christ. And then you want to fall off there. This is all according to plan, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Ah, uh, fuck my face, please.
I have nothing to say here. This is just a dry period. Like, what do you want me to say? Like, do you want me to do more historical lore of the speedrunning community for this game? Do you want that? Like, hello? <laughs> what the fuck? What, what else am I going to talk about? I'll talk about the other categories. So there's actually three different sets of levels in this game, and even though this is my first speed game, I only ever played the first set of levels for a speedrun. I've done them all, but I've only ever like actually speed ran the original. I've only done one run of bonus levels, and I don't think I've ever done a run of the extended levels, which are the two DLC level packs. And uh, they're definitely worth playing. I just, I never really bothered with that. I never felt like I wanted to. Because the game, I don't know, just when I, when I first picked this game up, you know, obviously no one else ran it. And I had enough trouble with the original game that I, Jesus Christ, are you fucking kidding me? Why do I have to go through that? Um, I had enough trouble with the original game because I was still pretty shitty at it. And uh, I just didn't want to spend my time and resources as a young gamer and a young speedrunner on uh, other categories. I wanted to concentrate all my power on the original levels. And then by the time other people started running the game and I felt more confident with my abilities, I had other games that I would rather play than do the extended levels. So maybe one of these days, maybe like my 10 year speedrunning anniversary, I'll, I'll pop in and do decent speedruns of, uh, of those maps. But now, currently, that is not the era that we are currently in. There may be a time where I'm doing this edge commentary and talking about my extended and bonus like runs. That may be a thing. In a future commentary for this game, I might go like, oh yeah, back in 2019, oh, so long ago, was when I did not know how good the extended levels were, because they might be really good. I mean, I've played them before. I've beaten them once, but... Um, I don't remember them at all. They're deep within the confines of my hippocampus. Alright, this part's a little tricky. You need to be definitely very quick. Very difficult to time. There we go. That was probably just as fast, if not slightly slower, than doing that the normal way. With uh, all the deaths there. I also died a lot otherwise in the level, so my time is going to be quite bad. Did that pretty well, though. I'm impressed. Alright, this is the only level in the game which has any sort of extended auto-scroller section. There is a slightly faster way to do this, but I don't... Like, you move blocks somewhere and then get onto a different one, and you'll approach the ending slightly quicker. But I don't remember which one it is, so I'm not going to do that. I'm currently repositioning my body into what I hope will be a more comforting uh, position. Although I was actually deeply mistaken. This is significantly more uncomfortable. And now I'm stuck here because I'm back in the gameplay. I misused my Star Castle time. Just like the only downtime in the entire game that you get, and I misused it. Wow. I actually feel like a motherfucker right now. And not in like the good sense where like I fucked the hot milf, but like in the bad sense where like, you know, I can't think of a way to actually explain the bad sense other than, you know, I'm a motherfucker. I gotta waste my precious game time now, unfucking myself. I probably look like a jackass in the camera too. I probably switch positions. I'm looking at the, the OBS screen. I seem to be in a decent position, I guess. I don't know. Should I be looking at the camera throughout the entire run? Like this? Play throughout my peripheral vision? How's that? Is this a good... No, I can't do that. Not even ironically. That's way too difficult. That sounds like a fun challenge. Play through the periphery? That actually sounds pretty cool. Wow, fuck you. Holy shit. That's ridic, man. That's fucking ridic. That's how the kids say ridiculous. They say ridic. Because the whole word is too difficult to memorize and like takes too long to spell. So that's what the kids these days say. Go like, yo, that was ridic. God, I fucking hate zoomers. 
Jesus Christ. I wish I was a zoomer, honestly. You know, like, if I were like 15 today in the year 2019, I feel like I'd be better off. But at the same time, then I wouldn't have the perspective that being a millennial grants me. Having lived like a decade of my life without access to internet or a computer. Such a unique perspective that those Zoomers just can't understand. For reference, I am one day on the millennial spectrum. Millennials, uh, the cutoff is 1996. And since I was born on May 31st, which is one day before the sixth month, which six is half of 12. I was born one day before six out of 12. Therefore, I am one day away from being a Zoomer. And that definitely would have changed my entire life. If I were just born a day later, like if my mother held it in, I would have been a Zoomer. And therefore, it would have made sense that I would have gotten an internet connection like multiple years before I did. Because otherwise that would have been embarrassing, you know? Obviously my entire family wouldn't be impoverished if I were a fucking Zoomer. I'd just be Zooming online. I'd be, you know, typing on internet message boards right now. But instead, I'm playing the same games I've been playing since I was like fucking 16 years old because I've got no fucking idea of how to have a good time. And I just like figured out something I was semi not even really actually decent at and just decided to stick to this. Because it's the only thing I'll ever actually have in my life that I'm even remotely proud of in any capacity whatsoever. And I'm actually not even proud of it. Like I just, whenever I'm talking to new people, I resent the fact that I dedicated a, an extremely large portion of my life to playing video games because I hate video games. And I hate video gaming culture. And I think it's the most repulsive, repugnant, insipid nonsense that you could possibly envision being involved in, in the current era. Like, holy fucking shit. I don't know why gamers are so fucking cringe too. Like gaming as a whole is one of the most fucking capitalist cringe industries that exists. I don't understand how every gamer isn't automatically by default a communist. Like how do you look at copyright law and not be a communist? Like I seriously, like it cannot envision the amount of like brainwashing that needs to occur for a human being to look at copyright law and like fucking like IP management, right? You know, like. How do you look at that and then also be a capitalist? Like, how is that possible? I really don't understand. Like, it, it's baffling to me. Jesus fucking Christ. Like, gamers need to get their fucking act together, I swear to God. God damn it. Anyway, this level's pretty fun. That was a mistake. It was, whenever you get these little things, they're called prisms, the mini cubes, they make you slightly faster. So I was trying to get there because uh, I wanted to re retain my speed boost up until that one. But I did it really slowly because I'm an idiot. And, uh, I mean, you know what happened. I don't need to explain that part to you. This part's got a really cool skip. You'll see it in a second. There's going to be a big area with, like, big walls. And then there's going to be a big area with a bunch of moving platforms that's really long. And instead of doing that, you can just go up here, go over here, and then die, because that's crucial. And then do it again. Now, if you're fast enough, you'll be able to get that cycle, and then get over here, and then get over there, and then skip the whole thing. You see that? That's a really big area. So here we get the first of the remake levels, also known as the rehash levels, also known as the callback levels, which is my preferred term. This is second contact, which is like a much more confusing version of first contact, which is the first level in the game, which is actually a level that I made a remake of in uh, my Doom Wad, Secret Doom, The Green Machine. I made a Doom level based off the first level of Edge because I thought it was cool. And it was actually really cool. So this is Jungle Fever, the level I mentioned with the skip. Oh my god, I just got a first try. I died earlier in the level because I'm a douchebag, but holy fucking shit, I just got- That's literally the hardest trick in the game. 
to my recollection at least, and I got a first try. Holy shit, man. Damn. I'm impressed. I'm actually impressed. Normally there, when I do like runs like this, I lose like 30, 40 seconds, sometimes even a minute. I've lost like literally minutes on that level in marathon runs just by being a complete nincompoop. But that's actually not what happened this time, so there's no point in self-depravity, huh? If I'm doing well. well. I mean, I wish I was doing. Wish I was doing well. I wish I were doing well. As it was or were, I wish I were doing well. No, I wish I was doing well. Huh. Was or were? What makes more sense? I guess I'm currently playing, so was, right? But like, at the same time, it's were, because it's like, I could theoretically start playing well, but then that wouldn't matter because I was not playing well previously. So would it be were playing well or was playing well? I wish I were playing well. I don't know. Post in the comment section down below. Was or were? What do you think? I wish I was playing well versus I wish I were playing well? I'm not sure. Which one would be more contextually appropriate? I think was, right? Because I'm currently still playing. Then again, most of the run is over. So not like it's not like I really have a chance of bringing it back. So like most of the run is over. So I guess it would be were playing well. I wish I were playing well. Because even if, like, again, theoretically, I play perfectly from this point onward, there is literally not a chance in hell that I will PB here or even come close. But then at the same time, you know, I do wish I was playing well. Like, if I were to, con like, you know, actually go forth and do well, that would be ideal, wouldn't it not? But then again, maybe was and were aren't even really time sensitive in this context. Maybe that's possible. Maybe this is just like preference. It could be preference. I don't know. What do you think? Comment section. Were slash was. I don't know. This is an open question to me. Yeah. I stopped doing the revert to checkpoint thing because I'm cold and I don't feel like moving my arms across the keyboard. I'm using the arrow keys and then also plus on the numpad for my split key. And then escape is the pause key. And I don't feel like traveling all the way across the keyboard for that revert to checkpoint. Not interested. I can do this. Yes, yeah, see? I told you. Y'all were like, why is this stupid fucking brain dead cunt ball trying that when she clearly is incapable of succeeding but fuck you this is what happens when you just have no faith no faith no faith at all i must say again the music in this game is incredible so damn good I'm kind of running out of commentary here, so, I mean, the game's almost over, so, I mean, like, what do you want from me? That's the thing about, like, speedrunning games I haven't played in a while, is that, like, I've got, like, a, like, a, for all, mo most of my games, especially the ones I've been playing for, like, six years, I've got, like, a lot of information memorized and a lot of ways to frame things, right? But I kind of just, like, wing it every time. I don't have a script, I just kind of, like, a rough draft. But, like, when I go over schedule, you know, like, if I play, like, to the point where I'm, like, seven minutes behind or something, it's like, how the fuck do I come up with seven more minutes of fucking material? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've probably got about 30 minutes of material for this game. And, like, that's not even enough if I were to, like, get the world record. You know what I'm saying? So where the fuck am I going to come up with another fucking four minutes and 31 seconds of material? Seriously, like, can you figure that out? Because I can't figure that out. Unless you want to be my ghostwriter, like, I mean, you're just going to have to deal with these moments of silence. Speaking of silence, there's going to be a hard trick here. I failed it. Maybe second try. Second try is always a good try. 
All right, third try. That's the charm. That's what the whole phrase is about. That wasn't even a try. That doesn't count for whatever reason. Yeah, that was a, that was a try, though it was a bad try. But it was just like the third try is the charm thing only really works in consecutive tries. So the the whole fact that, that one try wasn't really a try kind of broke the charm. Now I got it there because you know just my muscle memory kicked in and I was able to conquer it. But either way, that is one of the hardest tricks in the game. I'll also say. It's funny because it's not really that hard, but for whatever reason, I always struggle there. It's one of those things which just kind of boils down to like, if the game lets you. Wow, that's some bullshit. I disagree. I don't think so. Like, I, I literally, I don't, I don't think so. I don't know what else to say. I just don't. I just do not. Right here, you gotta be a little quick. Go up there, save having to wait on all those cycles, which again, very important. Love those in-game skips. All right, bonus. This level is the hardest level in the game, just because it's relatively long compared to a lot of the other levels. And then it's also got like the most consistent difficulty. Like almost everything in this level isn't like, it's not terribly hard. It's not like the hardest thing in the whole game. But like it's consistently difficult to the point where I would classify this as the hardest level of the game. The thing I like about this game also for speedrunning is that like it, the run is really never in the bag. Like I would say if I get past Jungle Fever, like if I get the skip for Jungle Fever, you know, I would say then the chances of me getting a really good time are pretty likely. But really nothing's in the bag up until like the end. Like I would say like... 44 and 45, the two last levels, 44 is like an easy level. It's like kind of like a break map, you know? Um, but the 45 is, it, it can be difficult, though I would say it's easier than 43 and definitely easier than 42, which is this one. So I would say maybe once you get past 43, then uh, it's maybe safe to say that whatever time you're looking at, like on the split, plus or minus, is probably what a round you're going to finish at. I would reckon. That would be my reckoning. That part can be tricky if you don't recognize the cycle. Same thing with that part. So far, I would say that this is a pretty solid bonus. Just kidding. You have to be really swift about that one. It's also super strict, the way it works. I don't know how to describe that exactly, but it's fucking annoying. Alright, right here, you can get to hold it down. I got it. Held that shit the fuck down. Awesome. That part I usually die once at. Alright, this part is kind of an endurance round. This little thing gets slightly faster as it goes. And then it also changes direction. Once you get to the point where you're starting to predict it. There you go. Apparently my bonus has got a minute 29. That might be like a, a bad split. Like just a faulty best segment, because I don't think so. Definitely time to save, but a minute 29, that is fake news. Definitely time to save though. All right, so this level's got a pretty difficult skip right at the start, but once you get it, like you're pretty much good to go. That's the difficult part. When that hits the wall, you need to like get up there, but it's kind of hard to do. There we go. All right, so the rest of the level's free. I would say that's the point. Oh. Uh? Yeah, I've never done that before, actually. I don't have any prepared statement for that. That's literally never happened. But, uh, yeah. I mean, it's not like that was anyone's fault but my own. Oh, 
Fuck my face. I keep forgetting you just need to stay on this one. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, once you do that first trick, that the level's, like, the game's essentially over. Like, as far as the difficult stuff, but it appears that my ineptitude has, uh, has taken hold. And, uh, I'm embarrassing myself, and I don't like embarrassing myself. I'm not a fan. Right here, you got a little maze, but it's definitely memorizable. I do like that, though. It's a fun feature. Alright, so this is, like I said before, a break map. Super easy. Can be a little bit sluggish to optimize. Because if you don't maintain your prism speed, it gets kind of annoying. So I go out of my way to maintain this, the prism speed. As much as I can, at least. Mm. Alright, so yeah, the game's almost over. Uh, the last level is coming up in just a second. And the last level, like, it, it's difficult especially difficult to do well. There's lots of areas where like you can fuck up a few times but not die and not lose an incredible amount of time, you know? And uh, you'll see what I mean by that. But uh, you know, it's definitely, I would say, easier than 42. All right, so Earthquake. Overall, I would say this has been a pretty solid start to Sunday Run Day. Um, so far, what's going to happen in Sunday Run Day that I've got scheduled, I haven't figured out the fourth game yet. But, uh, so far we've got Muppet Race Mania, all stunts coming at you. And then also Crash Bandicoot the Third. Those are going to be the other two of the other games that will be played on this Sunday Run Day, the 134th edition. And I'll figure out what the fourth game is uh, later. I'm just gonna like look at my stack and then go like, all right, I'll do that one. Wow, I am one dumb motherfucking bitch. I am one dumb motherfucking bitch. Christ almighty. Actually, I forgot I can just hold that down. I was timing that out, but you don't actually need to time it out. Oh, I am acting like a total and complete dumb fuck. I'm supposed to ride that over here. Go down. Not fallen. Wow, okay. I, I don't have any prepared statements for these deaths. They're just bad. They are very much so not good for you. Gamers everywhere would be ashamed if they were in my position right now. But very little people are in that position because no one plays this fucking game. So I take solace in the fact that even though it is a bad position to be in, it is very much so unique. And I am paving a path forward that has not been paved before in the history of humans. Now you might consider this inconsequential like it's some stupid indie game that like 12 people on the earth have ever heard about. But personally, I mean, I'm paving the fucking way. I'm like Magellan. Except, like, way cooler, because, you know, I'm a woman instead of a man. And that, by default, makes me, like, 5,000 times as cool. This is the very end, by the way. Holy shit. The dreaded stairs. Alright. That was pretty horrendous, I must admit. That was actually really bad. There are actually three more levels, but these are only unlocked if you get all prisms. So they're only part of the 100% run and not any percent so uh yeah so that's edge hopefully you enjoy the rest of sunday run day and uh i will see you soon